22 vezes campeão em torneios Grand Slam, o tenista Novak Djokovic deu uma entrevista exclusiva à CNN. O sujeito é um fenômeno. Ele afirmou que não tem arrependimentos depois de ser impedido de participar de torneios importantes de tênis por não se vacinar. Não, eu não tenho regrets. Eu aprendi através da vida que os regrets só te mantêm de and uh, basically make you live in the past, and I just, I don't want to do that. I also don't want to live too much in the future. I want to be as much as in the present moment, but of course think about future, create a better future. So um, I congratulate Alcaraz. Uh, he absolutely deserved to come back to number one. Uh, it's a pity that I wasn't able to play Indian Wells Miami. I love those tournaments. I had plenty of success there. Uh, but at the same time, it is, it is the conscious decision I made, and I, I knew that it, there is always a possibility that I won't go. And uh, it is the current state or current situation that I hope will change uh, for later this year for the US Open, that is the most important tournament for me uh, on the American soil. And the organizers have said that they hope that you will be able to play. Do you share their confidence? <laughs> More of a hope than a confidence, I'd say. It's not really in my, well, it's not really in my hands. That's, that's uh, debatable because there's always something that I can do, but I, you know, choose not to. And, and, and of course, uh, now whether I'm going to be allowed to play or not, it's dependent on, obviously, on, on the highest government decision. So I'm just going to wait and see. Uh, and, 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 you know, it's still about, I think, five, six months to eventual uh, US Open participation for me uh, it's, it's the tournament where you know it's one of the most four most important events mm -hmm. and at this stage of my career grand slams are the ones that value the most so I really want to be going want to be playing there I want to be there I actually had in 2021 when I lost finals against Medvedev one of the probably the one of the best moments I ever had with the New York crowd mm -hmm. um, and you know I've been fortunate to win that tournament three times play many finals but even though even though I lost that match I received a lot of love and appreciation from people And, and I want to go back and I want to reconnect with, with the crowd there. So that's something I'm looking forward to and hopefully it will happen. Did the controversy that you have been through over the past couple of years with regard to COVID vaccinations, did that dent your enthusiasm in any way for the game? You mm -hmm. talk about how minded you are still on those grand slams. To be honest, not at all. I actually, in contrary, I, I'm, I'm as, as enthusiastic as ever, as motivated as ever um, for the sport, for for my family, for you know, for all the for my foundation, for all the projects and everything that I'm doing off the court, for PTPA. I mean, there's a lot that that I can be and I should be and I am excited about, and um, I just don't want to regret anything. I don't want to be thinking about the negative circumstances that occurred in my life because there's going to be so many more and it, it's normal you know this is life and and in the in the times of adversity you grow the most and I know that because of my upbringing of my childhood and go, growing up in a war-torn country so I understand what you know um, how you need to behave and how to stay strong and I feel like you know um, the 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 dignity and integrity and, and staying true to myself uh, and, 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 and my beliefs and my rights is above every, everything, you know what I mean? So that's, that's where I stand and, and that's, where, that's where I will stand in the future as well.